All right, so thank you guys and gals, mostly gals, all gals for coming. Um, we're gonna start on our backs, uh, but you don't need a block or anything with that right now. So go ahead and lay down and maybe keep your knees bent, maybe keep your feet on the floor and feel your shoulders come on down to the floor. Right, just let them relax down. Feel your feet to all four corners of your feet. Let your hands rest on your belly. Just start to find your center, start to find your breath as we let ourselves come fully onto our mat. Tap into your inhale and your exhale. Notice the thoughts that surface in your mind and just let them go. Just let them drift by. Imagine that you're laying outside, watching the clouds drift by. It's the same thing with thoughts. So we let those go. We find that clarity, that blue sky, that clarity of mind. Few more breaths right here just to get ourselves really centered. And then straighten your left leg down to the floor. Make it really, really, really long. Just stretch it out as much as you can and then slowly bring your right knee to your chest. Hands are underneath your thigh. Just stretch it in. Shoulders are still soft, jaw soft, head is neutral. Big stretch here. And then lift your left leg just a couple of inches off the floor. Really squeeze your belly here. A little bit of core work as we're working, starting to warm up our hips. And then bend your left knee, bring it to chest, hold on to it. Stretch your right leg super long, all the way down to the floor. Let it relax on the floor, but keep it active. Your left knee and your chest, your shoulders soft, your jaw soft. Maybe your eyes are closed and you're just listening to my voice or maybe you have some music in the background. And then lift the right leg a couple of inches, feel the belly tone. And if you don't, then go ahead and draw the belly, the low belly down so that you feel that connection and breathe. Bring your right knee to chest, stretch your left leg long. This time leave it hovering. Just a couple of inches off the floor. Belly's nice and toned. And as you inhale, bring the leg straight up to the ceiling. Bend the knee toward your chest and push it straight out. Good, and inhale, bring it up. As you exhale, knee to chest and push it straight out. Make it really work here. So it's not just an automatic move. Go ahead and do it again. Bring it in and as you push it, imagine you're pushing through some thick, Mud or something. Good. One more time. Take it up to the ceiling. Bend your knee and push it straight out. Hold it right here. Hold, hold, hold. And if you can, straighten your right leg. Again, shoulders soft, neck soft, right jaw soft. You're just checking out core work here. A little bit of leg work. We're finding our breath. Good. Point both feet and flex, good, and point, and flex it again. One more time, point, 
and flex and bring both knees to chest. Left leg stays in, left knee stays in, right leg heads down to the floor, just covering a couple of inches. Remembering always, right, we modify as we need to. We take care of our bodies. We honor this process. Good, inhale, right leg lifts. Bend the knee, bring it in towards your chest, press it out. We've got three more right here. Inhale, lift it up. Bend your knee, push it out. Good, two more, inhale. Exhale, reach it through. Good, last one, inhale. And push it, push it, push it all the way out. Nice energy through the both legs. Take the left leg straight up. Just support it with those hands behind your knee. It doesn't have to be that high. And if your hamstrings are super tight, just bend the knee a little bit, right? No worries there at all. And then point and flex. Good, point those toes and flex. Hold this pose, squeeze your belly and both knees to chest. Good, both arms out, T position. You can do palms down for a little bit more support or palms up. As we draw those arms down to the floor, your legs are at 90 degrees. I want you to take your left leg, your left knee toward the floor, let your right leg follow. And then inhale, right leg up, left leg, go to the other side, right leg, and then left leg. Good, start to go on your own. You're like a little teeter-totter here keeping the legs pretty separate from each other. We're gonna be doing hip work today, so we wanna just kind of notice where we're at as we breathe. The next time you're at center, hold right there. So both knees are apart from each other. Your legs are bent, your knees are bent, your belly squeezes in, your lower back is to the floor. Take both hands behind your knees, and see if you can straighten the legs. If you can't, don't worry about it. Hamstrings aren't all that warmed up yet. And then bend your knees and stretch them straight. Good. A few more right here. And down. And stretch them straight. And then stretch one more time here. Bend it. And straighten it, lift it up. Draw the shoulders back, squeeze your belly, take those arms out to the sides. And squeeze the legs in and open them up nice and wide. You're wide, right? It doesn't have to go too far. In and out and in and out. Good, one more right here. Bring them in, squeeze them in. Exhale, bring them out. And then bring them in, lift it up. We're gonna get a little bit tricky here. Right leg down, left leg stays up. Breathe. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, both legs wide. Inhale up, left leg goes down toward your mat. Right leg stays up, you got it. Inhale up, legs go wide. Squeeze them in, right leg long, all the way toward the mat, just hovering a little bit. You can modify in any way. Bring that leg up, go wide. And last one, leg down low. Pull, bring it up. Take the legs out nice and wide. Bend your knees, you're back in that wide leg bent knee. Good, left leg goes down toward the floor, right leg follows going to add a little bit more core to this. So choice number one, single leg like we were before. Second choice, squeeze the belly. Do not pull in your back here. Both legs come up to center <laughs> and they both go to the other side. There might be a happy middle place where one leg starts to separate and then they come together, but control your descent. Don't let the legs jerk your, don't let your low back jerk your legs up and control the descent so that we're working with our obliques just a little bit, right? That side uh, abdominal muscle. You got a couple more. Remember you can go separate knees. That's so much easier. Maybe today's one of those easy days. 
Okay, just don't want to stress too much. Good, one more, both directions, you got this. And down, Woo. and up, last side. Squeeze it down and take it up to the center. Almost done here. My dad's all kinds of wonky. Good, hands come behind your head. The legs go out wide. Once again, belly squeezes. Optionally here, you're gonna lift your torso. Keep your head supported, but don't pull on it. You squeeze it up and take it down. Let's see if we can do nine more. So this is nine and eight. Good, and seven and six and five, oh yeah, and four, and three, and two, and last one, hold, 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 release one hand, see if you can reach for something in front of you, breathe, if you want, let go of the other hand just for a second, squeeze it up, and let it come down, nice job everybody. Or I'm assuming, nice job, everybody. <laughs> Good, and then let those legs roll over to one side. And come on up. And find a nice, comfortable seat. Oh, good, that was the hard part. Now we're done. Roll your shoulders. That's it, shake it out, everybody. Take your left hand to the side, reach your right arm up. Come on over, stretch it out. And then reach over your left knee, sweep it all the way around, take it up. Exhale, reach. And then reach over that knee, sweep it one more time. And all the way over, just feel, right, all that nice grounding, reach over the knee and sweep it. Hold that arm up. Take your left arm up. Reach up as high as you can and reach with the other side. Good, two more, reach up and over. Good, one more. Reach that hand to the ceiling, reach the other one and then take the right hand down, reach the left arm over your ear. Always, always watch that head alignment, right? You don't wanna drop the head, you want it to feel good, you want the neck supported and then take it over the right knee, sweep it all the way, two more. And over and sweep. And over one more, maybe pause, get that good stretch, and then sweep it over and take both arms up, grab your left wrist, take it over to the right, pause, breathe, and center, go to the other side. And center, cactus arms, squeeze the shoulder blades back as if you were pressing those arms into the wall behind you. Watch that head neck. You see me kind of shift my head a lot and that's to make sure that I'm not carrying excess tension there in my shoulders. Good, squeeze just a little more and let it go. Good, roll it out. And then take the legs right in front of you. I'm just gonna shift this mat a little bit that wants to slide. Take the legs out in front of you. Take the legs nice and wide and then start to windshield wiper the legs. So the hands are behind you, so they're supporting your body, your pose, but just watch that the shoulders don't overly scrunch up. Good, and feel free to move. Like I'm all the way over on one hip, and then I'm all the way over on the other hip. And I'm starting to find some movement here as we breathe. There you go, a couple more. That's it. The next time your knees are over to the right, I want you to pause right here. Just feel those legs start to come toward the floor. If they don't, especially the left knee, maybe you have a block underneath that knee just to support it. But if you don't need it, don't worry about it. Take the left arm out to the left side and then follow that arm across. So nice seated twist here and then bring it all the way back. And follow it across, stretch out that body, and bring it back. Good, one more right here. Stretch it out, and then bring it back. Now here's the 
part that could be tricky. I want you to stretch that arm out, just like you were before, but then let the hand come down to the floor. Adjust your right arm as well so that you're hovering over the right hip. And maybe you stay nice and upright here. You've got an internal rotation of one leg, an external rotation of the other. Maybe you come down to your elbows. And breathe. Maybe you have the ability, the flexibility to come all the way down to your forehead. Find your breath here, everybody. Just stretch it out. And then if you're down low, slowly walk those hands all the way up. Reach with the left hand again, stretch it out, and then bring it back until you land it down behind you. And then shift the legs so that they're back to that kind of wide leg stance and windshield wiper again. One of my favorite stretches for adding a twist and it stretches the hips and it just feels really good. I hope it does to you as well. So same thing, other side, dropping those knees toward the left. I tend to shift the back leg back a little bit because it makes more sense for my hip structure. And then reach out with the right arm, stretch into a nice rounded twist and then pull it back. And then again, reach it out, pull back. One more right here, reach and pull it back. And then reach it and hold for a moment and notice where you are, set that hand down to the floor. Reach your other hand out to, to match it. And then find out where your twist is on this side. Can always support that back knee, which would be your right knee. You can support it with a block if that feels better. Kind of wiggle through your hips a little bit if it feels good. Drop down to elbows, see how that is for you. And maybe you drop all the way down to your forehead, your chest. And walk those hands back up. Reach out with the right hand. Pull it all the way back. And let that hand land behind you. And windshield wiper one last time. And then come back to the middle. Straighten the legs out nice and straight. Shake them out. Inhale, reach up. Soften the shoulders right here. Arms are active. Legs are active. Dandasana, big deep breath. Fire up those legs, everybody. Good, and then let the hands come down, maybe slightly behind you, just slightly behind you, just for support. I want you to lift your left leg and breathe. Try to keep all the toes pointing straight up. Maybe let those hands go again. A little bit more challenge, it's not necessary. If you're going, holy moly, then just let that foot come on back down to the floor. It's perfectly okay. Find your breath. Good. Keep the leg. Drop those hands back. Roll your shoulders. Listen up. Bring that knee to chest and push it out. Bring it in and push it out. Good. One more here. In and push. Then tap it across as far as it'll go for you. Keep the right leg active and grounded. And then staff it across and open it as wide as you can for you. There you go. Lift it, cross it, lift it, and cross. Good. Couple more. Lift it up, step it down. Lift and open. Last one. Cross, cross, cross. Whew. And lift and open. And then hold on to that leg and see if you can lift up. Grab one part of the leg, grab the other. Kind of a, a variation, right, of pigeon pose. So this is not happening in this lifetime. Drop the foot to the floor and stay right here. All right, you're still gonna stretch through this hip a little bit. 
this just a little bit more. Big deep breath, hold on, and then slowly slide your right knee until it matches or meets your left ankle. You might be nice and high, you might be down here, this leg might be lower. Right, honor your process. Where are your hips today? I've learned through a lot of study that how your hips work here is an individual thing. It may not come up this high, you might not be. Your hip structure might be more forward instead of more to the side. So, smile, marvel at your beautiful uniqueness, and leave it be. All right, hands come back behind, open up those shoulders. See if you can slide your right leg first, lift it up, work this hip structure, and then straighten it, push it out, and let it go. Woohoo! Shake it out. Inhale, arms up, good, strong, solid dandasana. No rounding in your lower back. If you're rounding, hands stay down all the time. They don't lift up. Breathe. That's it. And then take the hands down, support your lovely bodies, lift your right leg, hold on. Big deep breath, maybe the arms come back up, maybe not, belly squeeze. Press down, down, down with that left leg. Breathe, woo! And take the hands down, open up your chest, squeeze it in, push it out. Squeeze it in, you got it, push it out. One more, squeeze in and push it out. And then bend it and step over as far as it'll go for your hip. I feel a stretch right on that outer hip when I do this. And then open it wide and step out. Good, take it up, woo, squeeze. Take it down and open. One more and reach it, reach it, reach it. Oh. And take it back across. Good, and then lift it up and see if you can turn and then lift that torso back up. See if you can grab that lovely leg of yours. Maybe it'll come in, maybe it won't. Maybe it's out here. Perfectly wonderful for your body. Reground that left leg. You saw mine got a little sloppy there, right? I'm gonna just appreciate this leg, appreciate this hip, maybe rock it a little bit. Find your breath. And then slowly bend your left knee until your right goes to it. Or vice versa. Lift up really tall. Try to keep that spine elongated. And you're either sitting up here, maybe you're leaning back just a little bit. Right? To help support your spine. It's all good. Back a little. Breathe. Lift up the spine. Really stay tall through the whole back body. <sighs> Good, and then release those hands behind. Slowly straighten your left leg. Lift your right leg, see if you can hold, and then straighten it in front of you and push it out and let it go. Nice job, everybody. Shake it out. Good, and breathe. Roll your shoulders. And when you're ready, let's come right to table pose. So we're gonna be on our hands and knees. Make sure you are supported, right? Make sure that you have something under the knees if you need to. Uh, blanket. Um, have your blocks just near the front of your mat. We're not going to use them just yet, but we're going to need them soon. And then find a good solid table pose and a few cats and cows right here. Finding your breath as you start to move through your spine. Exhaling as you come into this nice hunched over cat. And then inhaling, lifting tailbone all the way through the spine, through the head, the dog. And just finding that spinal movement. Good, one more. And exhale, squeeze it in. And then come nice, solid table, neutral spine. Press your right leg back. Lift it up, squeeze, find that neutral spine. So belly has to squeeze in here. And left arm out, balancing table, simple stuff now. Find your breath. 
opposite. And lower the hand, keep the leg. You're gonna take your right knee to the outside elbow. Squeeze it there, squeeze your belly, and then straighten it across the left leg and tap it to the floor. Good, let's do four more. Squeeze it in and reach it out. Go slow enough that you feel it. In for three. And reach it across. Good, two more, squeeze it in. Squeeze it out. <laughs> Last one, squeeze. And cross, hold that cross leg. Look back at it. So you're stretching out the right side torso. You're finding your breath. And then lift up that leg, level it out one more time. Reach the left arm one more time. And lower everything down. Either sit back in child's pose or hero pose just so you can shake out your wrist so you can let go of all of that. Good. And then let's come on up other side. And by the way, right, if your wrists are really chatty, if they just don't like to be there that long, a couple of things that you can do, you can go to soft fists, especially for something like this where you're on the knuckles. Instead, just make sure your wrist is strong enough to be straight. You can walk the hand slightly forward and come up on blocks. Right, all of those make it just a little easier on the wrist. All right, left leg back. Level everything out, tone in through your belly, squeeze your glutes. Lift that leg, find that level again. Maybe this is where you hang out today. When and if you're ready, right arm goes out. You're looking for that kind of still spot. You know, I look at the top edge of my mat here to help find my balance. As you fire up the left leg, squeeze through both shoulders. And then let that arm come down. Take your knee to your outside left elbow. And then step it across and look back. Good. Four more. Squeeze it in. Lift it out. And three. Squeeze. And back. And four. And squeeze it back. Last one. Squeeze. And hold it this time. Look back at that foot, stretch out your left side, and lift up that leg, find that level hip again, squeezing your belly, take the right arm out one more time, take a deep breath, lower that hand, lower the knee, sit back in child's pose for a brief moment. If your wrists are chatty, you can turn your palms face up and just curl your hands in and let them go. And back to the table. Step forward, right leg. Your left knee is on the floor. Your hands come to your right knee. Nice squeeze of your back glute. Roll your shoulders. Inhale, reach the arms up. And breathe. And then turn the palms forward and pull down on the imaginary rope to squeeze through the back body. And then inhale, reach up. Grab that rope again, squeeze it. And up, reach up. Squeeze it down. Good, one more, inhale. Squeeze it all the way down and then take those arms up, turn the palms forward, breathe, squeeze your belly in and exhale, hands all the way to the floor, listen up. You're gonna lift your left knee and that is optional by the way. You can keep that knee on the floor. Take your block if you have it and just set your left hand on the block. Start to turn toward the right, open up the right shoulder, squeeze the left leg, and take that arm up. This can easily be done with the knee down, just so you all know. Good, lift, hold, lower that right hand to the floor. If 
keep your hands on a block, set that block aside. Step back to downward facing dog. And settle the feet. And lower both knees to the floor. Step forward, left leg. Watch your alignment. Most of you know that. I only don't know one of you, so everybody else knows. Hands come to your left leg. Your right glute is nice and toned. Inhale, both arms up. Soft shoulders, squeeze your belly, everybody. This time I want you to take the hands forward, turn the palms down, and pull back. Really squeeze back body, and then reach it forward, and pull back. And forward, three more, squeeze, and reach. Good, two, and back. Last one, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And forward, turn those palms and reach the arms up. Open up your chest. Exhale those hands down to the floor. Your block is under your right hand or not, it's not necessary. Lift your right knee off the floor. Open up your left shoulder. Right, so watch here, and I didn't say that on the other side, but when we twist here, we can overly drop the opposing hip. We don't need to here. It'll shift a little, that's okay, but not a lot. It's all here in the waist, shoulder, arm comes up. Notice if your right leg is collapsing. The knee is either down or it's up, right? Not somewhere in the middle if you can help it. Okay, breathe. And let that hand come down. Move the block to the side. Lower your knee to the floor. Slide your left leg back. Widen those knees. And a very brief child's pose. Good. Come on up. I did say brief, right? If you have blocks, take both blocks at the lowest level and place your hands on your blocks. You're still in table pose. I want you to take the left leg out, squeeze your butt, lift your knee. And very simply, I just want you to squeeze it in, try to create space, and push it out. Squeeze it in, hold, don't let the knee drop. Squeeze it as high as you can, and down. And one more, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And step it all the way through. Lift your right knee off the floor. Hold here. Breathe, everybody. Bend your front knee. If this is too much, right knee goes back to the floor. I want you to squeeze your belly, draw your shoulders back, reach the arms back. And then inhale, take them up. I lunge, a little bit more work, not too bad. Breathe. Open the arms wide, cactus pose, take them back to the floor, plant your hands, step back. Down dog, hands on blocks, make sure they're not gonna slip. And then lower your knees to the floor. Right leg out. Squeeze that knee into your chest, squeeze, and reach it out. Two more, squeeze it in, press it out. Last one, squeeze, and press back, and then squeeze it in, step forward. Make sure the hips are hips width, or the legs are hips width apart. Lift your left knee, squeeze those legs towards each other. Bring the arms back if you can. And then inhale them up, woo, and breathe. Watch that front knee alignment, everyone. Find your breath, open it up, and exhale, arms at cactus, and then down to the floor. Plant those hands and step back, downward facing dog. Good, lower your hands to the floor just for a minute. If, make sure your blocks are not 
gonna slip on your mat. If they are, take them away. You don't need them that much. But if they feel like they're gonna stick, hold on to them. Come to downward facing dog. Make sure you're on your lowest level. Good, left leg digs into your chest and then reaches up. Again, optional. Breathe. Now you're gonna float to plank and bring that knee to your chest. Oh, two more right here. Lift up, exhale, lift up, exhale, squeeze it in, hold here. If you have to lengthen your pose like I just did, lengthen it so you're in plank, push out of those blocks. Lift it up, tap your knee, squeeze it up. Tap, whoo, squeeze, tap, squeeze it up. It's not moving from the hips, it's moving from the belly. Squeeze, we got one more. Lucky number five, squeeze, and then step it through. Holy moly, that was harder than I thought. Good, right hand stays where it is. Left arm reaches forward, squeeze the shoulder in as you rotate that arm and come into yet another twist. Life is good. Exhale, swing that arm all the way back around. Plant that hand. Here we go again, downward facing dog. Just breathe. You know, by the way, anytime you want, child's pose. Take a little rest. All right, right leg lifts up. Find that level hip if you can. Exhale, squeeze it to chest just for three. And lift. And squeeze in. Good, one more. Squeeze it in, hold. If your plank is a little short, lengthen out, hold, squeeze that knee in, tap it down for five, one, and two, and three, and four, sound effects help, and five, Woo! squeeze it up, step it forward, holy moly, left hand stays where it is. Right arm reaches forward, circles its way up to the ceiling. Squeeze the left knee. Keep that circle going, reach it all the way back. Plant that hand, step back, downward dog. And lower to your knees. And find child's pose. And from child's pose, I want you to come on up, back up to a seat. Let's check our pose. We're gonna come more into pigeon pose. I wanted to make sure the hips were nice and warmed up first. So go ahead and, and again, sit up on something if you know your hips. So use that straight in your right leg. And then just take your left leg out to the side as if you were gonna do Janu Sirsasana, but I'm not touching. Run it out to the side. Lean back a little, but don't lean back any more than you really need to, to keep your torso somewhat upright. And then I want you to see if you can just lift that leg and take it to center and hold on and just rock it side to side. Notice if your foot is kind of your left foot is kind of sickling. And if it is, try to let that go. Try to keep the foot in line with the knee. There you go, a couple more right here. Breathe. Next time it comes across, set the heel down. We were here before. But this time I want you to see if you can set the knee down. Right, I think you can see this, okay. I want to stay forward for what we're doing next. Don't force it, depends on your hips, right? Good, 
All right, so from here, we're gonna play with this bottom leg. We're just gonna see if we can coax it into a bend. Some of you are gonna come all the way to cow face legs or some version. A block, by the way, can be just a wonderful thing, right? You can set your block under your knees, keep the knees higher. Let me give you several options here. If you know and can do cow face legs, go ahead and do that and I'll explain everything else. If this is, <laughs> again, not this lifetime's mission, take your top leg and just start to separate and separate until maybe you can find something similar. Here, the block would go under your knee to support it, right? So that you're not having to strain or stress either through the ankle or the knee. If none of that is happening, I want you to just step over and hold here, okay? So, wherever you are. And the interesting thing about cow face legs, if the heels are closer to your glutes, it is easier for a not so easy pose. If the heels are a little further away from your side hip, you get more stretch, more challenge, but that's not for everybody. Let's see if you can hang here in any version that you just found. And then take the arms up. Soften the shoulders. Take your right hand behind your back. Take the left arm out to the side and internally rotate it. So external, the palm would go up and behind. This time we're turning it in to the palms facing back and then reach behind your back until you can feel your hand on the other side or see it if you happen to see the picture. And then if the fingers touch and you can hold on, that's great. And if they don't, don't force it. If I could see you, I would know you were forcing it, one, because your head would be down here somewhere, right? Or you'd be straining or you'd look really unhappy. <laughs> so don't make them touch. Don't overreach. One side is usually easier than the other. Find a deep breath. You got it. Good. Release the hand. One arm, other arm, usually the low one is the one that gets you. Take it out. Lean back. Undo both legs, take them straight. Take them out. This time the left leg is staying down. The hands come back to support, just so you have room for this right leg to move around. Good, and as long as you're not sinking in, I don't care what the hands are doing so much. So you're gonna lift the leg and just see how it feels to rotate. So it's an external rotation of the hip. Pigeon folds is an external rotation of the hip. But we wanna find where it works for us. So then start to take it across. See if you can hold, see if you can lift the chest a little bit more. Because notice, if I hang me back, this is a piece of cake. If I keep the chest up, to get a little trickier and then see if you can set the heel down like we did before and then see if your top knee will come down to the floor or down to your other knee right and then lean back and see what the left foot will do maybe you can slide it in maybe you're here somewhere maybe you're just cross knee and nothing else that's perfect start to walk that left heel over the right See if it'll come more to the right. Maybe your block comes into play here. Maybe not. This is a tricky pose. So be kind to yourself. A lot of uh, very open hipped yogis can come into cow face pose and they don't think a thing about it. Other ones are just tortured to think about this. So find a spot. My husband tends to be more kind of here, right? I know other students that are more separated by the knee. Whatever feels good. And then snuggle in. Inhale, reach the arms up. Soften the shoulders, bend the left arm. Maybe you help it back just a little bit. Take the right arm out to the side. Internally rotate and then take it behind your back. Maybe that's where you stay. If not, maybe that hand walks up. 
is my tighter side. So I don't force it. I see if the fingers want to play or not today. There you go. And breathe. Watch the ankles too. A lot of times students will really sickle the ankles dropping more to the tops of their feet instead of the edges. Just notice that and notice if it's creating any strain in your shoulder or in your ankles. Good, nice lift of the chest. The head snuggles into a neutral position. Big deep breath. And then slowly release the hands. One side, other side, shake it out. Lean back, lift, straighten, and Oh, good. Roll out your shoulders, everybody. And then blocks toward the front of your mat where you can get to the knees of me and come back to table pose. Table pose. Spread those fingers. Flip your toes under. Lift your knees off the floor. Hold it right here. And then start to draw the chest toward your thighs. But really press into the hands, the fingers, nice wide shoulders as we start to open up into the hips just a little bit more. And when you're ready, if you're ready, start to straighten the legs. Squeeze your belly. And breathe. Shift into your right foot. Lift your left leg up toward the ceiling. Squeeze the belly. You're going to draw your left knee to your left elbow. And then you're going to turn it in. See that? I don't know if you can see that. And then you're going to straighten it. And you're going to take it up. Right? The cup works harder than the folding <laughs> Take that knee to elbow, left elbow. Turn the heel, left heel toward the right wrist. Straighten it. One more right here. Bring it in. Squeeze your belly. Turn the heel toward the opposite side. Lower your thigh or lower your lower leg to the floor. And as we did on Sunday, you'll see my butt is way up on purpose. From here, I want to shift my right leg back. But I'm not in a hurry. So let's see what's happening in this left hip, mostly. Everybody, if you have a block, even if you come to the floor normally, I want you to take a block under your left sit bone. And then let yourself sit on the block and lengthen out through your right leg. And notice how that feels. So now that I'm supported, what that kind of play? I'm looking at my front left knee. It is almost straight out from my hip but it's slightly angled out. So your leg should be either straight out or angled out to the left, ideally not angled in toward the right. And then I want to see if I can level out these hips so that the hip line is pretty neutral, pretty straight. If you're good here, maybe you hang out right here. I want you to squeeze in lower belly, maybe a little mula banda, right? A little bit of pelvic floor engagement. If you want to take the block out, see what happens. Can I start to lower the leg, lower the hip, and still keep a pretty neutral hip line here? If not, I'm going to pad underneath the left hip. Great. Some of you might already be down on the floor. <laughs> if you were in class in public and I saw you, I'd tell you to get back up. But I won't do that. Come on down to your elbows if you know. Oh, and then play with that hip line, right? It's easy to lean toward the left hip. But I don't want to do that. Now, if kicking is just not happening, and I'm sorry I didn't say this in the beginning, then truly lean into the left hip, all the way into the left hip. Remember when we did the twist at the beginning of class? You're leaning into that hip, and then you're bending your back hip. And then you can walk yourself down over your left knee. Okay? This is not 
for everybody. Good deep breath. If you are down on the floor, bend up, take the torso up, take it into a nice sweet little back bend. Bend your back leg. And then pretend your pelvis is on an elevator. <laughs> There's an image. And squeeze up into those legs as if you could draw the knees towards each other and lower down. Bend the knees, squeeze up, and lower down. One more time on the elevator. Here we go. Bend the knees, squeeze it up. If your block is nearby, right hand to block, left hand to foot. Ooh, check it out. Ooh, quads are tight. Lower down. Holy moly. Good. Now, getting out, funnest part. Flip your toes under, lift your knees, squeeze your belly. Lift your lower leg off the floor. And step it back, make it long. And lower down. <sighs> Pedal those feet out, everyone. And let's go to the other side, rest if you need to. Right leg lift, squeeze your belly. Bring your knee to your elbow. Carry the foot to the left. Bring it back. And up. Two more. Squeeze it in. Turn it. Squeeze it back. And up. One more time. Squeeze it in. Turn it. Hold. Bring it back. Lift. Good. This time, take it. Bring it in. Turn it. Control this. Lower the leg. Butts up nice and high. Slide the left foot back. Start to find your way. Lowering the left knee. Maybe the block was under your right hip. It's kind of fun to have it under the hip just to, just to play. Really. Don't need it. Don't want it. Don't use it. Right? Start to snuggle down through those hips. Find the level that works for you. Check that right knee's alignment. See where it is. Try not to let it come across the midline. Breathe. Maybe you come up on the fingertips and make that back bend a little deeper. Maybe not. And when you're ready, come on down. Close at the elbows just to see that the hips stay in line. Remember, you can drop to your right hip and bend your back leg as a variation. If you want to come all the way down to your chest, Wherever you are, press back into those hands. Hold that little back bend. And then bend your back leg as you squeeze up the escalator. <laughs> and down. I thought we'd take a different route. <laughs> and squeeze up and down. And notice when you squeeze up, press down through the right leg. Block or no block. Reach back. Lift your right hand, see if you can find that left leg and breathe. And lower. Plant the hands, lift your right knee, hold on, squeeze that leg and butt. See if you can lift the leg. Take it all the way back. Lower that leg. And lower the knees. Take the knees nice and wide on your mat and come on down to child's pose. And from time to 
child's pose, press up, the down dog, breathe, walk the hands very purposefully all the way to your feet, pause here again, nice soft knees, nice long spine, reach back, see if you can get a neutral spine, reach just a generally speaking neutral spine there. And then bend your knees, hands come to your knees and lift all the way up. Oh. Wow, I can't believe this is the first time we are standing in this whole class. So shake out the wrists, everybody. Give them a good curl. Inhale up. Exhale all the way down. Bend your knees, hands to your knees, come all the way up again. Lower your shoulders. Good. And then let's play with a simple, a simpler balance pose. Let's come to tree pose to start. So move props out of the way. And I might go ahead and step off my carpeted mat. <laughs> so just so you know. <laughs> all right, so find a nice solid mountain pose. Feel the legs start to integrate, right? They start to draw together. The biggest thing I've seen, which I can't see now, is a locking out of the knees. So we don't want to do that. There's this misconception that a straight leg is locked out. And you know who you are. I know who you are. Most of you. Especially my former dancers and cheerleaders. All right, so hands come to hips. Bring your left knee up. So you're just Grounding on that right foot, you're finding a focus point, and you're lifting just to see, and then you're going to set it back down. Good, one more. Lift it up, see, grasp strongly into your right foot as if you can take a hole in the surface you're standing at, and lower down. This time, bring the knee up, and I want you to turn it out just like we've been doing. Right, you feel that rotation of that upper thigh as you hold that leg, which is working the heck out of those hip flexors. Now, notice the, the right standing leg is getting kind of, uh, I don't know, wobbly. So for me, it's wobbly. So I go, okay, what do I have to do? I got to squeeze it up. And I get to squeeze the glute muscles to help support. I got to tone the belly. Are you still with me? Yeah, and then just grab your left foot, left ankle with your left hand and place it into your tree. Now this is high, right? This might not work for you. You might want to lower it down here where it's a little less angular for the knee, the knee and the hip. Wherever, you might have a toe on the floor because you're working on your balance. So find that, hands to hips. Squeeze the belly, squeeze the glutes. I had a nickel for every time I say that. Keep your arms up. Keep pressing your foot into your leg and your leg into your foot. And then find your tree. Like, oh, just open it up. My fingers soft and movable and flexible and wrists movable and flexible. Maybe the arms go up, maybe you are tall, maybe the hands come together. Maybe the hands are right at the heart. And then bring it down. Ooh. Bring your knee to center, see if you can unlift or unattach. Bring it straight. Set it down. Oh. Ooh. All right, other side. Your belly. <laughs> Squeeze your butt. Here we go. Hands to your hips. Find that focus point. One hand can be on your table or on your bench or your bed, whatever it is, right? On the wall. Never, ever, ever hesitate to honor your process. And when you're ready, just three times, bring your right leg up and set it down. And then bring it up. Good, one more time, you slowly hold, bring it up, hold, and then see if you can shift 
that ankle toward the left side. And breathe and squeeze the left hip, left glute. And then reach with your right hand to place your right foot. Or if you're not up that high, just place it down all the way to the floor if necessary. And then squeeze the left side in. Belly is toned, hands come to your heart. In tree pose, I don't care what this knee is doing. I don't care where it's pointed. What I care about, because I talk, is where my hips are, straight ahead. But hands either stay at the heart, or they lift up. Let go of the stress of this pose. If you come out of the pose, you come out of the pose. If you're wobbling like I am right now, you're wobbling. No big deal. Maybe you reach those arms up. Maybe you interlace with the index fingers pointing up. And then let those hands come to your heart. Roll the shoulders back. See if you can unleash your foot, hold, straighten. Job, everybody. Come on back to your mat. Come on back. Come up to the very front of your mat. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale all the way down to the floor. A big, big breath. Nice, easy. It's easy forward fold. Maybe shake out those hips just a little bit. And then soften the knee, step back, downward facing dog. Pedal the feet. Stretch it out. Optionally here, one hold your down dog. Really check the hands, the arms, the shoulders. Or lift your left leg up. Open up the hip. Optional. Bend the knee, heel toward opposite feet. And you might be able to see that my right now I'm lifted off my left hand a bit and into my right. So I want to square the shoulders back more to the knee. Breathe deep breath. And then slowly reverse what you did. And take it down. Other side, right leg right up. Bend the knee. Oh, sorry. Open the hip. <laughs> Bend the knee. See if you can bring it toward the opposite foot. Level the shoulders. Squeeze your belly. And then reverse it. Lower it down. Lower your knees. And find child's pose. Or funeral pose. You might want to stay upright. But don't sit this way if it hurts. Child's pose is a wonderful way to just kind of recoup, right? Re, um, release some of the breath, some of the muscles. Um, many of you have heard me say that I used to resist. The resting poses. I was 20 years younger and full of vinegar. <laughs> and uh, now I don't. I, I find them very valuable. And I don't think that is age as much as I think it's wisdom. It's part of the yoga process. Yeah. All right, so if you're in child's pose, come on out. If you're in hero pose, come on out. I want you to take those legs wide again. Lean back into your leg. Next time your knees are to the right, hold right there. I'm going to take my left leg and scoot it back so that my knee's on the floor. My right knee is on the floor. And then I'm going to lean out, not too far, but out on the right. Uh, on my right hand. Some of you are going to stay right here and just lift your left arm. Okay, the rest of you, your hand comes to your hip. 
and you're going to lift up on your knees. So try it a couple times because you might have to shift your hand or your knees so that this feels good and not yet. So I'm just lifting up a couple times and then lift and hold. Take the left arm out. Some of you are going to stay here. Some of you are going to lift the left knee off the floor, which will feel better for a, a lot of us. And then stretch. Stretch it. This is just so yummy. Breathe. When you come out of this pose, hand comes to hip. The knee comes back to the floor. The hip comes back. Shift it around, start in a nice wide leg. It gives you the basis, right, for the pose. Shift a couple times. And one of you in particular, I know you've done a lot of stuff for the knees, so please be careful. And then let those knees come to the left. Do the same thing. Shift the legs. I move my right leg back. And then I shift the arm so that I'm supported from my shoulders. One, you're just going to stay right here or arm lift. Otherwise, you're going to just see how's that feel to lift, right? I need a little shift here. So lift and lower. One or two more. And down one more. Just lift, hold. Maybe your arm goes here. Maybe the right leg extends. And you stretch that whole right side. Breathe. And hand back to hip, knee and hip to the floor. And beautiful. All right, come on down to your backs, everybody. Knees stay bent. All the way down. Oh, good. In fact, if you have a block, sorry for that late cue. If you have a block, grab your block. And then lift your hips up. If you don't have a block, a pillow would work or a nice rolled towel would work. If you don't have any of those within reach, don't worry about it. Take the block at the lowest level under your sacrum. If I have my hands on my hips, that block is below the hips. It shouldn't be on your lower back. That'll just hurt and do damage. So please make sure it's on that nice, hard, bony sacrum, right? Right below your low belly. And pause right here. So restorative bridge pose. I'm not worried about where my shoulders are. I'm not worried about lifting the chest. I'm just letting my sacrum settle onto the block. Head neck very comfortable. You cannot be quote unquote upside down for any length of time. You're just going to sit down with the block. Bring your right knee to chest, whether you're on block or not. And then straighten your left leg to the floor all the way down. You don't have to hold your right knee to your arms and shoulders and chest. All the way chilled out here. That leg's not going to go anywhere. But I want you to purposefully feel, even if it's super subtle, a stretch to this front left hip flexor, so as muscle, maybe into the low belly. Relax your feet, relax your legs, relax your torso. Maybe you smile just a little bit. Deep breath. And just for a moment, I want you to tighten your left leg, point your toes up, squeeze your belly. Hold your right knee and lift your left foot off the floor just to make it here. You may feel more of a stretch, especially if you bring your right knee closer to chest. Just watch your back. 
really reach the left leg long. And then bend your left knee, bring it to the back. Hold on to the left knee, stretch the right leg really long. And let it come all the way to the floor. Relax both feet, relax both legs. Relax your arms. Find your breath. And then maybe draw the left knee a little closer to the chest if you want. Then you can tie a lift your right leg. Bring it down. And then bend the right knee. Bring it into the chest. Optionally here. Either stay right here, just knees toward chest. Or bring this leg straight up to the sky. Make sure you're well on your block so you're not going to slip off your arms to the left. Finding what I call the hover point with the legs so that the legs don't have to work to stay there. This is a beautiful inversion. This is much like legs up the wall, but with the block, you have a little bit more stability because of where the hips are stretched and not working those legs so hard. They can just hang out up there. Your head, neck, jaw, comfortable in your chest, so soft and relaxed. And imagine if you could be in a state of receiving, right? A place where you have an open heart. you are receiving what the universe is offering instead of resisting what is happening. One of our yogis out there, Linda Tukino, sent out a beautiful newsletter and in the newsletter this time she said, instead of us or them, how about us or we, you and me or we and me. I don't know. <laughs> I lost it. But instead of the or, replace the or with an and. It's you and me, not me or me. It's, it's true, right? We're not so different. All right, bend the knees. Bring one foot to the floor. Bring your other foot. Press your hands into the floor as you lift your hips. Hold that bridge for two nanoseconds. Just to realign all those muscles. And let everything come back to the floor. Straighten one leg and the other leg. And come to the Shavasana. Shavasana is your reward. <laughs> Asana is the place where all of your cells integrate and take in the lessons of class. Vasana is where we surrender. We surrender to our humanness. All of the things that make us who we are. Surrender judgment. See that love take over. See if you two can surrender. If 
you two can let go here. Feel the soft breath move in and out. Feel your body soften more. 